Hey guys, it's Liam from CNC Marine. We're here with Emilio's 7500 HT. He's done a few little tasteful mods to it. The fit out's pretty awesome. And just look at the thing. Looks pretty sweet behind a ram. So let's jump in and have a look. Um, here with Emilio, this is 7500 HT. Tell us a little bit about the arrangement and what made you stick with the 7500. So we went the 7500 uh, to be the maximum boat we could tow at the time behind the uh, 200 series Land Cruiser that we had. Um, originally we started off at a 6.5 and uh, as, we, as we started fitting out in our heads what we wanted, it just ran out of space so it had to grow. Uh, so that's why I went down that direction. So given you got this pretty much custom done for yourself with a lot of different modifications and things like that, how do you find it performs? Look, uh, it performs absolutely incredibly well. Uh, when we first had it, obviously, like you said, it was, everything on this boat is completely customised to what we want and how we want to use it. Um, you know, there's nothing in this boat that is still standard from the kit on, on factory option-wise. So the reason why we've done it all is, you know, we like to go away and uh, you know, with our YouTube and social media, we, we do a bit of camping, fishing and travelling up and down the coast. So you know, to have it out with the bed, the air conditioning and things like that, and it makes it really, really you know, user friendly for us, having a hot shower at the end of the day, um, just little things that we've added. And overall, it's actually given a little bit more weight to the boat, which quite actually helps the performance of the boat in the yeah, rough definitely. seas, which is great. So we've never really had any dramas with it. You know, it's handled absolutely well. It's a very, very dry boat, which for you know a plate boat, some people seem a bit shocked about. So, no, look, it's it rides just as well as any other boat that I've been on glass or or plate. But the fact that it's mine, I think I have that little bit more love for it. That's it for sure. Tell us a bit more about Outcast Adventures. What is it? What's so, your plans with it? What do you want to do with it in the future? So, look, Outcast Adventures is a little bit of a fun thing that uh, my partner and I and a couple of our mates, you know, we thought, why not film what we do? Because what we do is pretty pretty fun right and a lot of people don't get to experience that firsthand or they want to know places that we've been they want to know what to expect so we thought well why not just do it you know we don't go out of our way to do anything extreme we just go out and have fun and we film it um and i think the fact that it's so raw people enjoy it mm -hmm. um you know long term it's just it's a bit of fun for us and you know if it turns into something more it turns into something more um like i said we we don't do it for for anything special we just do it because we want to share our and our adventures with everyone yeah. um so that's why we've done it how do you find like this boat helps you to do that well this boat's everything so originally we you know we had the 200 series and now we've got the ram but the 200 series is set up for camping now we don't have that you know this is basically a caravan on water so we can go anywhere with it so it's great for us if we go part of me if we go up north we can sleep in this in the marina or you know, we can sleep in this in caravan park halfway through. We've mm -hmm. done it at 1770. We've all pulled up. You know, we've all slept in the boats, had barbecues in the park. People think we're a bit strange, but you know, we're doing it. We're not doing it tough. Right, so, not. you know, for us, it's great because now I don't have to have a camping setup. Everything I have on, on board is everything I need. Toilet, shower, water, barbecue, two fridges, you know, everything's there. Um, you know, we, it's just, it's perfect for our lifestyle. The fact that we can hook it up behind the car and go, I haven't got to stress about it. It's just ready to go. It's done. Yeah, you know, that's what we love about it. So we do things last minute, you know, Friday afternoon, had a bad week or, you know, work was stressful, hop in the car, go to Inskip, take the boat, go for a fish. You know, I'm fishing Fraser Island at Saturday morning at seven. People are waking up here still, Yeah, you know, I and mean, for us, that's a, that's a game changer for us. We get to get out and we have an incredible time. So that's why we do it. That's so fair. Moving on to a bit of the build process. How do you find the build given you know, we're a kit provider? How did you find the build? Oh, absolutely unreal, hey. So originally, we I was looking at a whole heap of um, plate boat hulls and, and designers, um, and I stumbled across CNC Marine online, and I was just like, "This is incredible! How good the opportunity to like actually customize everything I want, and have it signed off by someone on, on a computer who can actually tell me what I want to do is safe and reliable and okay for the boat for where I want to be." Um, you know, we got the kit, and you guys sent me the link, and I just started drawing all over, it and I sent it back to you with text and marks and all sorts of shit. And you guys are like, wow, what is wrong with you? But, you know, within a couple of days, you guys sent me back a re refined draw of my drawing. And, you know, from, from that to this, you know, we, it's chalk and cheese. Everything, the fact that everything can be so personalised on this boat, being a kit boat and still having, you know, the architecture behind it and the safety is great. Like, 
You know, I can't go and buy a stencil and start cutting it out and decking it out and make it look the same and know that it's going to perform and be safe. Mm. You know, I, can, I don't know if I can do that, but I know with this, everything that I've done, I've had approval from you guys with my, you know, my recommendation and we've made it work. It's been great. That's the biggest thing we find with all the modifications and, and um, people coming to us with a lot of questions, to be honest. Like a lot of people, they want to make all these changes to their original hulls or hulls they might have at home and the hull just isn't designed for it. The thing with modifying a kit or a design that we've developed, we can basically tell you if it's going to work or not. If the weights, the, where you put your weight, where you're going to put your fuel, where you want to sit, or basically how you use the boat, we can tell you if it's going to work or not, or if we need to redesign the hull to suit how you want to use it. Moving back into the build, did you have any struggling points with it? Yeah, I think my biggest struggle with the build was knowing when to stop adding things to it. I think I got to the point of I was adding things because I used them once and, and one time and I wanted to make sure, like we've gone overboard, we've got two fridges, you know, I've got 400 amp hour lithium batteries on it, but on top of that, I've got a hot water system, I've got a sink, I have a shower, I've even got a phone booster on there and internet, right? <laughs> and how often are you going to need to do that when you're too busy not looking at your phone enjoying your time? But yeah. I did it just as a safety thing. You know, our struggles were probably trying to get it done in the time frame we had, so obviously, as you know, uh, you guys pulled some strings and got this done pretty quick with us and um, the whole deal was to be on the water by my birthday in January at the start of this year so you know from start to finish it was a big rush to get it done but no one really you know, no one let us down which was great uh, we had a couple of hold-ups with supplies obviously due to the whole COVID the catch-up with COVID but other than that everything went really really smoothly you know I think the biggest struggle for me was the, having the patience to wait because I could just see it built in my head and I just wanted to use it so yeah, I think that was probably the worst part about it. For sure. Say for other people who have um, the desire, I guess, to build their own custom boat, whether they're building it at home or that they're looking for a builder to build it for them. Um, do you have any tips and tricks for someone like that? Yeah, absolutely. Get in, like, just go into it. Everything that you think you want, make sure you you, you lay it, like, write it all out and, and come and see you guys and talk about it. Um, plan everything in advance because when you get to the, like, to the finished product, like it's it's 100 percent customized and if it's not what you want you know you're going to want to change it but it's going to be too late you know the upside about working with you guys like i said earlier was we can have that customization like at the from the start to the finish you know get in and give it a run do it you know it's i was thinking it was going to be a lot more stressful building something like this of the value that it's you know that it's turned out to be but at the end of the day it's actually not that stressful you guys know you, you know your stuff which is great. So I've got the knowledge of my history of being in white boats and you guys have the knowledge of building boats. So it worked really well. You know, if you don't know, pick up the phone and call. You guys answer my calls at all sorts of hours. You know, <laughs> don't I'm not, tell people that. <laughs> I'm, not saying, I'm not saying everyone needs to do that, but like the service behind it was great for us and we really enjoyed, you know, the last minute thought of, hey, am I able to do this? And you guys, oh, yep, no dramas, absolutely. Or no, we can do it this way though. You know, if anyone thinks that they're, you know, it's going to be a big effort. It's actually not. It's actually quite an enjoyable process, which I, for someone like me who has like OCD and I have to be on top of everything, it was actually so enjoyable from start to finish with CNC Marine. Um, you know, I, I'd do it again. I'd have to build a bigger one, but I would do it again. <laughs> do you think you might build a bigger one in the I future? I think looking at the future, I think this is a long-term boat for my partner and I. Like we, everything, like I said, everything in this boat is my knowledge of my time of being around boats on what I want to fit into a boat this size. And, you know, it's it's definitely over engineered to the point of accessories. Um, you know, would I get another one? Absolutely, if I was going to sell this, I would buy a bigger one. But the ultimate goal is to have this as a, you know, chase boat one day and have a bigger boat and use this as like the, the main fishing boat and have something, you know, cool or above it. Mm -hmm. um, you thinking game fishes or something like that? Yeah, I think something like a Viking would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, and obviously- Plate boat Viking. Plate boat Viking would be cool. Might um, do that. Color code it. Yeah. Make it all the same, match the ram in the boat. Don't see why you couldn't do that. <laughs> no, nah, right, sky's the limit. Um, so you did this fit out yourself. It looks awesome. Uh, how did you find the fit out? And fun. would you do it again? <laughs> yeah, I would. Absolutely, it was fun. So it was very... I had this vision of I wanted the grey and the brown, like the tan interior. I wanted the sea deck because it was tan as well and had to all run through. Um, you know, from start to finish, everything that we've done. So we've done the Mercury, obviously, on the back. We did the custom uh, live bait tank and the bait board. But, you know, we did things to make sure that the bait board actually fits my little Weber on it so I can use that as a cooking station as well. You know, all the things that we've done, we've 
for thought out, but they were a fun little process because we got to customise it again. Mm. Um, you know, the boys from Deckett Marine, Cam and his team, they did all my flooring. Um, and again, with the time, with the rush that we had, they came down on Sunday night, scanned the whole boat in the, in the shed for us, and he went away and pumped it all out, came back a couple of days later, and we had a deck in there, so it was awesome. Um, yeah, you know, all my interior was done by uh, Chris at Trim Effects, and um, Chris has done all my interior for all my random fit outs that I've had over the years. So he knows what I'm like and my little visions that I, I, drew, I draw on his books, and he just goes, all right, leave me alone, I'll figure it out. Uh, and he did. So all the diamond stitching through the seat and how it all curves into the side of the boat, you know, just little things for us. Having the padding up here when you're fishing is great on your legs. Uh, we really, like, we love our fishing, obviously. So to have that extra comfort is great. Where at the end of the day, we've got the soft floor and we've got the nice padding. I haven't feel like I've just been standing for eight hours doing nothing. I've actually had a great day on the water. That's it. Um, so yeah, look, for us, it was awesome. As far as all the other fit out goes, you know, we've got the sink over here. Um, you know, little things that we've added. We got all the sound system and stuff supplied by Kicker Marine and Auto Barn. And um, I did you know. hear that sound system earlier. It's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's, it's definitely one of the most uh, intense sound systems I've ever had in my yeah, life. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, look, it's been great. Even like as you go through in the in the in the footage, um, you'll see all my interior has all been done out. Like we've had all the roof is all insulated and sound uh, sounded, and uh, we're running all the Furuno gear from Shane and his team. So. You know, Fruno had been awesome with us. Again, they knew the rush that we had. He even came down and gave us a full handover. So Shane himself did it. Gave me a quick crash, like a dummy course on how to use everything. Gave us his number, told me, you know, send me a photo if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so I sent him a couple of those. Um, still do, actually. Um, but look, it's been a really great experience, as, as far, even up to the point of wiring. So Jamie and his team at OnTrack, you know, they had the boat for two weeks and I've never seen wiring like it. I've never seen, I didn't know I could fit so many people on a boat. <laughs> it was incredible. Um, but you know what? Their, their, their attention to detail is absolutely exceptional up there. Um, if I was to build another boat, 100%, they, they'd be a part of it. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, it was a great start to finish with all the, all the team that we used was awesome. You know, from Ben from H&H, &H, he painted the boat. You know, he even painted the color coding on the cruiser for us. So he knew the paint he was working with. It, you know, it wasn't a drama for him and his team. Um, so look, everything from start to finish, including the windows, you know, the boys at Marine Fab, Paul, his team are great. Again, a last minute thing, fit me in, fitted my windows on a Saturday morning, you know, before the rush to get us done. So we had a really great custom, like everything, like we said, everything about it was customized and everyone that was a part of it played their part exceptionally well, you know, from you guys to all the way down to the boys that made the trail like mm -hmm. down at Sydney or Luca yacht. So it definitely shows in, in the finish here, like. Yeah, you kind of look at this thing and every, I've seen people snapping their necks when they turn yeah. up and they look at it. So. Yeah, it, it. Look, it turns a lot of heads. It's a great boat. And the whole point of, of us building is to, to enjoy it and have others enjoy it with us, you know. Yeah, if we see us out and people ask about it, get on board, have a look. Mm. Oh, we're, we're thinking about building one. Get on. Have a beer. Have a chat to us. You know, we're all for it. That's what, that's what you know, boating's about, making friends and having a good time, right? So everyone that we see, you know, they all turn and look at it and they want to have a take, you know, do you mind if we take photos? Go for it, guys. Like CNC built it, taught, like, you know, let them know that you've seen our boat. They'll give you the model. They'll give you the layout and away you go. So, you know, it's a great, it's a great conversation starter for us. You know, like wherever we go, servos, car wash, you know, boat ramps. Do you find you're making more friends because make, of it? No, you know what? I make a lot of, I do make a lot of friends because of it, but I make a lot of genuine people who want to know about the brand, mm. you know, which is awesome because I feel like I get to teach someone something that I've had to learn myself and I give them a crash course. So when they start their build, they're not going in stressing out like I was, mm. you know, they're going in with the calm, like the calm knowledge, knowing that CNC are here to help where I didn't know what I was getting into until we'd spoken, you know, yeah. I didn't know the whole process from start to finish. I had to learn it on the go. At least now I'm happy to tell everyone the whole process. I want them to know, you know, how much effort's involved doing it, you know, to fit out yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of sleepers, like, like a lot of sleepers nights because you're stressing out. Have I done the right thing? Did I cut that hole right? <laughs> is it going to sink? You know, like putting underwater lights in a boat is a pretty scary point. So, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, look, it's been great. I think it, the best thing that we've done for our, like, our adventure side and having fun is built this boat. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you from start to finish? It's a, well, it's a big project. It's probably so. never really ever going to be finished because I keep adding things to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but look, I, from start to finish, from you know, from you guys delivering the kit to the builder um, to its first sea trial was about twelve weeks, no less than that, just under twelve weeks. 
And yeah. so that's full hot works, paint panel, interior wire up. That is a fast yeah. build. And so and look, I, I was pretty harsh on the team and I gave them a deadline and you know, they all stuck to it. So it can be done. I don't know if I'd push them all to do it again. I, I think <laughs> I think none of them will ever pick up the phone again. But um no, look, it was a great experience for it. It was quick and wasn't quick enough in my head, but now it's done. I think it was to get it done in three months is crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I can't complain. So with Outcast Adventures, what's your plan for the future? Just to have some fun. Yeah. You know, get out and about. Get over, get off the road and, you know, explore. Have fun, have a bit of fish, cook some food, a couple of beers and a laugh, you know, see where you go. One week we're at Fraser, the next week we're at Early Beach, 1770 after that. Yeah, you know, it's the fact that we can just, like I said, hook it up and go is just options are endless for us. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, look, we do a lot of fishing stuff. We, we'd like to get into a couple of competitions and, you know, have a play around and take a couple of people out with us. Um, obviously, we'll take out all the people that had a part in the boat for a couple of adventures and, you know, at least a barbecue and a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, look, for us, it's just a time to get out and enjoy and make friends and create memories. You know, we've got mates that have come over from WA and that's, you know, they love their boats over there and they hop in this thing and they're blown away. So, you know, we're all making memories at the end of the day. That's the whole point of it. That's yeah. why you build a boat like this. That's, That's why you it. build a boat in general. Didn't so. build it to sit in a shed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. So look, at the front we had the whole custom set out on the bed, so we've got aircon and a fan and, and a light in there as well. We've also got the you know the custom hats from Port Marine Fab, which is awesome. Um, and we've also got the, the toilet underneath as well, which is a really, really good feature, because no one really wants to hang over the side. It's not that enjoyable. Um, yeah, moving back, obviously it's all been, all the upholstery have been custom done, like I mentioned before, by Chris and his team at Trim FX. Um, and then we've had Cam from Deck and Marine do all the C deck throughout the whole boat. Sorry, U deck. Um, and all the custom mains on the top. We've got all the Furuno gear over here. We've got the Kicker Marine audio gear. We've got the four speakers up in the top and the sub down the bottom. Um, Jesus, there's so much in this thing. Um, we've got all the Hella Marine lights, which is great. They're the white and red lights. They flick through as well as all the Hella Marine spotlights on the roof. Um, we've got the Steedy 42 inch light bar up on the roof facing forwards as well. Um, and up there paired with that is the 415 watt of solar, um, which runs the house bank, which is 400 uh, amp hour lithiums and they're supplied by DCS from Paul and his team. Um, and look, they've been absolutely great. It's all paired with all the Victron system, um, and the mobile app. So me being the weirdo that I am, I can check the batteries all the time, make sure we're not going flat, which it never will with that much power in it, which is great. Um, Look, we've got, like I said, all the chairs turn around. We've got all storage over here, so more storage in there. Under here, we've got the sink. We've got the hot water system below. Um, you know, we've got the fuel system, obviously the two 200 litre tanks down below. Plenty of floor storage. All right, so yeah, we've got the two gunnels on, the, like the double stack gunnels, which is really good because on one side, we've got all their dive gear, our poles for the awnings that we've had made. We have a, cool, a custom awning that comes out, which is great. So when we're not fishing, it's more of a family style boat. Um, and then obviously at night, when we go away on big trips, we put um, slags on the floor here for a couple of the boys that sleep out the back. So we just lower that down and it you know, keeps them in clothes, keeps all the dew off everyone's stuff. Um, you know, we've got the deck wash pump on this side as well. We've got the two fuel bowsers on the other side there. You know, again, on top is all the trimming done and all the, like, the leg padding. Um, and then over here, we've got starter battery for the mercury, fuel filter over here, the two pumps, obviously one's a deck wash and one's for the live bait tank. Um, and then we've got the cutting board on top with access to it. Look, that's about it, I think. Um, it's got all the rod holders as well. 
We've got um, 10 rod holders down on deck space, 13 up top. So when we're not fishing, we can actually have everything up and clear. Just if we're running around cooking, whatever. We're not, nothing's getting clud like cluttered. Um, on the deck, on the floor, from the seat of the U deck, sorry, is all the, the scales for the measuring of the fish, which has been great. Um, you know, it should be better if it went a little bit smaller sometimes, but anyway. No, look, it's been a great boat. And obviously the door on the back, the Perspex door with the name of the boat. Um, so obviously the boat's called Hot Plate. And the story behind that is it's an aluminium plate boat and because it's grey, everyone assumes it's going to get hot, but it actually doesn't. Um, so it's a bit of a play on words for that and that's why we've called it Hot Plate. This has been Emilio 7500HD from Outcast Adventures. Give him a follow, check out all their stuff on Instagram, YouTube, whatnot. Thanks for showing us around your boat, man. Pleasure, Mike. Get out on the water. Yeah, ready to go. Let's go.